Hey Medheads, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of background on the equipment that we're using. This Welch Allen Irrigator. Now I have not been paid any money or consideration by Welch Allen. I bought this when a, a local ear, nose and throat doctor was closing up shop and he happened to have this and wasn't using it anymore. So I grabbed it at a steal. So the Welch Allen Irrigator System is a system that allows you to use water from a faucet, the sink in your exam room. It actually hooks on with this adapter. You have to screw it into the faucet. And it produces a flow of water at a consistent temperature. You adjust your warm and cold water. And when they reach the right temperature, this little indicator here will turn white instead of blue. And when it does, it allows the water to flow. So what I love about this is that if the water is too hot, the water won't flow. If the water is too cold, it won't flow. So your patient is protected. Also, it limits how high the pressure can get. So you're not afraid that you're going to accidentally rupture someone's eardrum with the pressure from this device. Has a trigger for pulling when you're ready to use it. Has disposable ear tips so they're not using uh, the same piece from patient to patient. And inside you can see how there's a tiny, tiny little jet that comes through for the, the pressurized water. And then the suction created by the water flowing through the pod, the suction created, pulls the water back out of the ear. Let me put it on this way. I'm not going to link it on, but pulls the pressure back out through the other hose, which plugs into the pod, and then it just washes out here, out of the bottom, down the sink. So you get a continuous flow. There's not a lot of mess. The only mess you get is if you get a little drip from this when you pull it out of the patient's ear. But if you stop pulling the trigger before you pull it out of the ear. There's not going to be a lot of mess from that. So I've been pleased with it. Uh, the only complaint I have is it takes a while to drain all the water out of all this tube. And you can even see there's still some water from weeks ago when we used the device because it's, you know, you can run some alcohol through it to dry it. Uh, we've done that before to do it a little more quickly. Hey, MedHeads, thanks for joining us. We've got Ralph here, and he's going to need to have his ears cleaned. We looked at him, was it yesterday? Yesterday. And we saw that they were blocked, and now we have the room with the irrigation device, so we'll get those cleared out. Anything you want to say to the audience before we get started? Bye. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> so this is your right ear that we're delving into right now. And what we see is a little bit of wax on the outside and a lot of wax deep in. Let's get this going with the right temperature. We'll start. So it's going now. How does that feel, Ralph? Feels okay. Now stop. That's how we got to drop. Yeah, it does look a lot better. Good. And I, I'm seeing the eardrum. Uh-huh. Way, way, way in there. There's still wax in front of it. Yeah. But I, I can understand that you feel like it's cleared up. Like you can... It's a lot better. I can hear... You can hear that? The finger rub? I look on the other side too. This is your left ear. And we're looking way in there and seeing it's just packed in. Do you stick uh, Q-tips in your ear or anything like that? I did the other day. I don't, you did? I Am I hurting you at all? A little bit. So even that hurts? Mm, yeah. And that's just simply yeah. putting a curette right in the uh, external auditory meatus. Yeah, opening. Mm. Yeah, that's very sensitive. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're not going to do any more with okay, this. That's good. Done with that. Take a look with this. Once you get past the wax, you see the eardrum is clear and it's in there. That little bit of wax, though, hurts to, to move around. You want me to leave it in or take it out? Leave it in. And I'll get it with a Q-tip. <laughs> call that good. Okay. Say that we got what we wanted. Uh, hopefully the rest of that wax will come out. I encourage you to continue to help this along by using earwax drops, like either Debrox or uh, Murine earwax drops, because okay. they're going to help. What about peroxide? Or peroxide. We prefer that you uh, dilute it. Yeah, dilute it with some water. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit in there. Not a whole lot. See, it captured a little bit of it. 
Yeah, well, that looks like quite a bit, that one big chunk yeah. down in there. Yeah, not 100%, but yeah, if you use the wax or the, the hydrogen peroxide with water and, and let that soak in there for 15 minutes twice a day for the next week or so, that's going to help that to soften up and come out. <laughs> All right, well, hey, thanks for joining us, uh, getting Ralph's ears cleaned out. Uh, and Ralph, overall, is it better? Yeah. Okay. All right. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and comment below. Until next time, this is Ralph. And, and goodbye. And, and Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health. Thanks, Ralph. <laughs>